You know, whenever you want to do something great, it will always come with some controversy. And if you look back at, at, in, in Fort Collins history at the great places that we have, they didn't come without controversy. You know, I've been here long enough, I can remember the controversy over building Old Town Square, which is now considered one of the great gathering places, the heartbeat really of this community. I can remember when CSU purchased the old Fort Collins High School and had the vision to build the University Center for the Arts there and the opposition to that. But you know what? The leadership of the university had the courage to go forward because they had the vision and now if you look at the University Center for the Arts, you look at the trial gardens in front, it's one of the great gathering places. It's one of the most beautiful places in Fort Collins. Those are two examples really of great places that wouldn't be here if we didn't have the courage to go forward and to stand up and say we want the, this is, this is good for Fort Collins. Colorado State has allowed Fort Collins to grow into the wonderful, beautiful community it is. And for Fort Collins to continue to thrive, I think it's imperative that Colorado State continue to thrive and grow and, and be a big time university. To keep CSU strong, you need to keep building the student population. And by personal experience, I recognize that sports helps draw students. It's part of the whole college uh, environment. Got it! It's over! So often universities have this mindset that it's uh, not synergy, it's scarcity. You know, any dollar that goes into athletics is one less dollar to go into academics. Or uh, how does the alumni tie into this? The great universities have figured it out, that you have this synergy between those three A's, the athletics, the academics, and the alumni. I'm confident that uh, the Colorado State University can do the same thing. I think it would be a heck of a lot more fun on a Saturday afternoon in Fort Collins, Colorado to go see the University of Oklahoma play here, the University of Texas play here. How cool would that be? And there's no reason why that can't happen with a new stadium. The first time I went to a big time stadium was uh, when CSU played the University of Tennessee back in the 80s. And uh, we got up Saturday morning, it was a seven o'clock game in, in the evening. 10 o'clock in the morning, there were probably 20 or 30,000 people on campus walking around with orange t-shirts on and, and uh, the campus buildings were open, people putting uh, blankets out on the lawns and having picnics. It really brought people to the campus. In Fort Collins right now, we don't have that kind of experience. Going to use stadium is like going to an away game. Look at what happens with people coming from out of town to a game. They come from DIA, they go down I-25, go to Horsetooth Road, they go to Overland Trail and they're at U Stadium. They stop there, go to the game, and it's over. They go back. If you've got a stadium that's on campus, what you've got is people that want to make it a full game day experience and the, the night before or night after where they can enjoy not only our campus and what all's been accomplished at CSU, but our wonderful city. And now it's Hyde, and he'll walk in, touchdown Ohio State. Well, I was at the Ohio State-Penn State game this year, and that morning got out and did a walk around, and the businesses, you know, for example, I went in Panera to have a cup of coffee. Well, the line was out the front door there. You know, basically all the shops up and down the streets that surround the, the stadium and that part of the university were just jammed with people. It's so vibrant to be involved with a college town. When Fort Collins is thriving, my business is much better. You are now each a part of this university, just as it is a part of each of you. And so it will fall to you to cherish and protect and preserve her for those that follow. We have one of the great presidents of any university in the nation in Tony Frank. I have complete confidence in Tony's ability to make good decisions. He's looked at this and has, you know, he has a lot more information than the rest of us have. And based up, and he's the guy that's ultimately responsible for that decision. And, and, and Tony believes that this is important, that we can do this, that we need to do this. That's just one more reason why I'm in favor is because I believe in Tony and I believe in his vision for this university. He's done great work building this university, and this is part of that. 
Well, the old saying goes, if you can't run with the big dogs, don't get off the porch. Do we want to be a part of big time college athletics? I think we do. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't. If we act like we want to get off the porch and run with the big dogs. And uh, to do that, we need to build a new stadium. And I truly think that with Tony Frank and, and Jack Graham that we've got the leadership to get off the porch.